Hello and welcome to this tutorial on producing a print and cut job using Synlab and a composite device. By this I mean one machine that will perform both printing and cutting tasks. This tutorial will also help you through the setup and production of a job that requires lamination before the contour line is cut. For this tutorial I will be using the reptile house image you can see on the screen. The file is a combination of vectors and bitmaps and has also had a contour path applied to it. If you are not sure how to apply a contour cut line or would like more information on using them then have a look at the contour cut tutorial which covers this subject in full. First let's take a look at the setup. To do this I go to the file menu and select print and cut setup. First I make sure I have the right printer selected from my list of devices. You may only have the one device installed in your setup or you may have several, in which case it's important to select the device you wish to use for the job. I will be using the Roland SP540. Next I will turn my attention to the print mode. Print modes contain data specific to the type of media to be used and this will ultimately affect the finished job, so it's important to select the right one. To change a print mode, I click on the tab to the right of the print mode dialog box. The list of print modes is then defined by the different media manufacturers for which print modes have been produced. Selecting a manufacturer will then populate a list of the various types of media in that range. Lastly, selecting the media I require will allow me to choose the quality of my finished results. Because every job is different, it's impossible to say which mode is going to be right for your application, but bear in mind that speed usually compromises quality. I may get the job done quicker by selecting a draft mode, but it probably won't produce good enough results if the graphics are to be viewed close up, for instance on the side of a vehicle. For this job, I'm going to use a 360 by 720 standard mode. Catlink are constantly working to produce print modes for as many media types as possible. However, with the vast choice available today, this is a mammoth and ongoing task. If you find that a range of modes does not exist for the type of media you use, then I would recommend one with the closest properties possible to the type of media you do have. For example, if you have a gloss material, then select a gloss mode from another manufacturer. If you are not using a profiled media, you may find ink levels and final colour are affected, so I would always advise you produce a small sample to cut down on waste. OK, I can now click OK and my choice is displayed in the print mode dialog box. Now I will select the page setup tab from my options. Predefined lets me choose from a current list of sizes from the drop down, whereas custom allows any value to be set. In most cases a roll of media is used and the majority of hardware devices will display the available printing width once they have initiated. It's this value that needs to be displayed here and not the overall roll width. Margins and overlaps can be left untouched for this example. OK, next I'm going to select the cutter tab to check out my options. The dialog box contains the name of the cutting device to be used and since we are using an all-in-one device it's important that this is the same as the device we have selected for printing. If the correct cutting device is not selected here then click the drop down menu and select the one you require. Printer cutter alignment will always contain options specific to the type of device you are using, so if you're not using a rolling device, you may find differences in the options you are presented with. Because the SP540 will print and cut in one, it will not need registration marks to align the job, as the media will not be removed from the printer until the job is complete. Therefore, our printer cutter alignment should be set to none. If we were producing a job that was to be removed from our device and laminated before cutting, then we would need different settings here, and these will be covered later on in this tutorial. The tool dialog box should display knife. Selecting the drop down menu will allow you to change this if it is not already set. Another menu to check here is the tool options. This is accessed by clicking on the setup tab. It's important to check the knife pressure, as the settings here will be carried through to the finished job. 
Therefore, if my pressure was set too high or too low, I would not have another opportunity to change this without resending the whole job. Having to throw away a print and cut job because the knife did not cut deep enough will be frustrating and costly, so make sure the knife pressure is set up correctly. If you are unsure, always do a small sample to check first. OK, I'm happy with my settings, so with the whole image selected, I go to the File menu and select Print and Cut. This will then display my image in the Print and Cut preview. This preview window contains many options to allow further adjustments to be made to my image before it is sent to the Print and Cut Manager. What's also worth remembering here is the Synlab hotkey still function. Therefore, for example, I can use the F6 key to zoom out and see how my image looks in relation to the page. I'm happy with the settings I made previously in the print and cut setup. However, if for instance I needed to readjust my page width, I can access the setup by clicking this tab to the right of my current printer. I'm then presented with the same print and cut setup menu as before and can access the page setup option to make any necessary adjustments. When I'm done, I click OK and return to the preview window. This is a really handy utility as it allows me to make changes without having to revert back to the original Synlab screen. Another important thing to check in the preview window is the names of the devices to be used to produce the job. Take a look in the top left hand corner. As we already know, we are going to use the SP540 to produce both the print and cut parts of the job. This top line lists our printer and the bottom line our cutter. Always make sure these are the same when using a composite device. If the name of our printing device were different from the cutter, Synab would rightly think we were producing the jobs on two separate machines and this would mean that not all the data would be successfully sent to our device. If you have not used the print and cut preview before then take some time to familiarise yourself with the other options available. Most of them are for positioning and orientation of your objects on the page. OK, now I'm happy with my settings, I can send the job to the Print and Cut Manager. To do this, I need to select the last option in the Print and Cut toolbox, represented by a printer with scissors on top. It's important not to select the wrong option here. The button to the left of this, with just a printer on, will only send the print data, and the one to the left of that will only send the cut data. Only by selecting the option with the printer and scissors on top will my complete job be sent. Once I have sent the job, it will appear in the Print and Cut Manager. The Print and Cut Manager is effectively a separate software package that will process and send my job. What happens next will depend on whether I have my queue set to start or stop. Let me explain this further. At the top of my Print and Cut window is a menu option called Queue. When I select this menu, it allows me to place the queue on Start or Stop. With the queue set to start, any data that is sent to the Printer Cut Manager will automatically start to process and then print. If your printer is ready to receive the file and you are 100% happy with all your settings, then this option is fine. However, I personally prefer to have the queue set on stop. With the queue on stop, any file that is sent to the Print and Cut Manager will stay there until further instructed. This allows me to look at certain information in the file I want to print and then send it when I am satisfied that all the details are correct. An important point to check here is that your file arrives in the queue on one line and has this symbol of a sheet of paper with scissors on top to the left of it. I would also check that my devices to be used are correct and that I have the right print mode and port selected. OK, I'm happy with every detail of this job and can now send it to my Roland. To do this, I need to right-click on the file. From this menu, I will select Print and Cut. Remember, I am producing a complete print and cut job here on one device. I must not select just print or just cut, as this will not send all the data I require to successfully complete the job. A common mistake here is for people to think they should click print from this menu and then send the cut data once the print is completed. This is incorrect with this kind of application. I want to produce a complete print and cut job that will not require lamination and therefore only click print and cut from this menu. OK, with my job sent to the roll and the image will now be printed.
Then as instructed, the cut will be performed immediately after to finish my decal and the job is complete. In certain cases you may want to apply a protective laminate to your print and then contour cut the entire image. Following on from the print and cut tutorial, I will now explain the different settings you need to make when producing a print laminate and cut job on a composite device. First I need to make a couple of changes in the print and cut setup. In the cutter options under the printer cutter alignment heading I need to select printer's own registration marks from my list. My example uses a roller machine so if you have a different type of composite device you may find your options here will vary. You will need to be aware of the type of registration marks your particular device uses and then apply those settings here. Also in this window we will need to change the tool to knife with crop marks. OK, I'm going to click OK to set my changes and with my job selected go to File, Print and Cut. Once again I need to select the icon to the far right of the Print and Cut toolbox represented by a printer with scissors on top. Once again my job appears in the Print and Cut Manager but this time it has a small difference. The icon to the left of my job still has a page with scissors on top but in addition to this it also has two small lines which represent registration marks. Now I'm going to right click on my job but this time there is no option to print and cut only the option to either print or cut. My next step here is to select print and the job will begin. Unlike a standard job when the print has finished the job will remain in the active list of the queue until I am ready to send the cut data. In some cases it may be a while before you are ready to perform the cut, so it's very important to leave this file in the active list until you are ready. If this cut data were deleted, it could very well mean producing the whole job again from scratch. OK, the image is now sent to the Roland. The noticeable difference here is the registration marks my machine will produce before and after the image itself. These marks make it possible for my image to be accurately realigned once it has been laminated. Once laminated, the print is reloaded the same way as before. With the Roland, I need to line up the bottom right reg mark roughly in line with the knife. I'm now confident that my image has been properly reloaded ready for cutting, so I can return to Synab and my original file, which should still have the cut data in the active queue. As before, I right click on the file, but this time I select Cut. With the job sent, the Roland will now seek its first reg mark. Then, once this and the other three have all been detected, the device will accurately cut both vinyl and laminate to produce my complete decal. The whole job can now be laid up and then fitted in place. Whether you want to produce a print and cut job, or a print laminate and cut job, the whole process is made simple and straightforward using SignLab.